गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वॉम वेलकम टू यू ऑल फॉर दिस थर्ड सेशन ऑफ आर मैथ सैटरडे सीरीज प्रोग्राम दिस इज एन एक्सपेरिमेंटल पायलट प्रोजेक्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर डिग्री इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द सब्जेक्ट कैलकुलस बाई गुजरात टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी अंडर इट्स ई लर्निंग इनिशिएटिव नोन एज एक्टिव लर्निंग नाउ फॉर आर ऑनलाइन व्यूअर्स आई वुड लाइक टू टेल दैम दैट वी आर ब्रॉडकास्टिंग दिस लाइव लेक्चर्स ऑन द वंदे गुजरात चैनल नंबर एट एंड नाइन स्पेसिफिकली अलोकेटेड टू जी टी यू सो यू कैन सी द लाइव फीड ऑन द चैनल नंबर एट एंड नाइन आई वुड लाइक आर एक्सपर्ट ऑफ द सेशन मिस्टर चंचल दास टू टेक ओवर एंड विश ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू और एक्सपेरिमेंटल पायलट प्रोजेक्ट ऑन कैलकुलस दिस इज द थर्ड सेशन ऑफ दिस वर्कशॉप एंड टुडे एक्चुअली आई वांट टू गो डायरेक्टली टू द कैलकुलस एंड Uh, we will not uh, go to that uh, level uh, which is covered in your syllabus but we will explore the initial thoughts behind calculus we will explore that thing okay and uh, as i know that i am not going to this uh, all uh, syllabus wise and this is exploring calculus today's uh, lecture and i should say this is a uh, greatest and uh, breakthrough inventions of human kind what we have made till date and when we go for a calculus no this few terms frequently comes and these terms are variables functions limits continuity derivative infinitesimal infinites increments differentials and integrals okay so we should have a clear cut idea about all these things what does this means and when i will explore these things i will go one by one to clarify these things so today entire session will be exploratory in nature exploratory we will explore the possibilities of calculus how it started and where it is now and next session onwards we will uh, concentrate on our syllabus okay now in that way i can i should say that it is uh, uh, today is we will be uh, uh, generating our tools to handle calculus okay and we for in doing that uh, i have uh, given two uh tools last class interpolation and slider interpolation and slider these two are uh, very essential tools and i think without this geometrically we cannot explore calculus geometrical exploration means we, we want to see this calculus what does it mean what does the derivative look like yeah what is the uh, integral i want to see all these things visualization and without this interpolation and slider it is not uh, possible to see that so first uh, before starting i am going repeating i am uh, the interpolation last time i have covered interpolation but it is a very good tool and i want to start with interpolation today okay so what is the interpolation interpolation is one of the tools which takes you from one point to other simply and i will give some example about that 5 i am at 5 and i want to reach at 10 but i wa don't want to reach there haphazardly i want to uh, reach there in 10 interval suppose Ten equal intervals, so I should have some uh, mechanism to do that. And uh, where it will be used, that also you should uh, keep in mind before starting. Where I want to use that, this calculus is nothing but 
it starts with variable. You can see that top one is variable. What is that variable? X and Y, is not it? Variable. And then it is function. What is that function? Function is a rule which connects X and Y. That is all. Uh, suppose you have a Y is equal to X square. So, this is a rule Y and X, how it is related. Now, this we know that this function will look something like that. Okay? Now, I want to see this interval. How uh, if I um, uh, see this formula, I cannot uh, imagine how this y value will take when we I move from suppose this is 5 to 10. Okay? I am moving from 5 to 10 and I want to know that how y is uh, moving. So, here interpolation will be used. I want to move in steps from 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then I want to reach 10. So, how I will do that? This is to some extent done by interpolation and manual interpolation will be tedious. It is very tedious thing, but we have now uh, computer, so we will use that. Why we require uh, this interpolation? Is it is not ex exactly a mathematics? It is a trick, and this trick we should know. What is the trick? I am taking a um, uh, parameter which varies from 0 to 1 and I term this parameter as t. Now, I want to reach from where to where 5 to 10. So, I if I do this a trick is that when it is at 0, t is at 0, it should be 5 and when t is 1, it should be 10. So, in other way what I should say? when it is uh, t is equal to 0, it should look, look appear to be 5. What does it mean? Then 10 should be 0, 10 0, other is 10 some te, part of 10 comes here, what will be? It will not be 5. So, it at 0 it should it, if it required to be 5, then second term should be 0 something like that and at 1 it should be 10. So, in other way what it means 5 should be 0 there, is not it? So, if I what I have said if I uh, tell you graphically it will look like that this graph will be 5 will slowly reduce to when it reaches 1 it should be 0 and this 0 will should is not it very simple and then if i add this 2 what will happen i am go, i will go on adding this 2 so at a start it will be 5 and 0 means 5 and here it will be uh, 0 and 10 means 0 so this addition this actual line this is the desired line this 5 will go to 10 in equal intervals. Okay? This is very simple and uh, uh, I, I should reproduce it in our laptop, okay? because I told you manually calculating so many things no, very tedious. So, we will do that. You, you open your excel files interpolation okay so interpolation parameter is i have taken parameter is t and n1 i will take first number as n1 second number is n2 okay so t varies from 
0 I will uh, equal interval I will make 10 intervals in that. So, 0.1 I will increment. So, what I have done uh, I think you many of you may be uh, expert in excel and somebody someone may be the first time are in excel. So, I will uh, go slowly. So, what I have done? I have taken 0, then I have uh, taken this before cell and added 0 0.1 to that. So, it has become 0 and 0 0.1 is 0 0.1 and this formula I just copy and this is the beauty of Excel that you need not uh, enter entire things. Once you enter a formula, you can just copy it and you add um, 5, all n 1 is 5 and all n 2 is 10. Okay. formula you can uh, I have used 1 minus t, 1 minus t. So, t initially is 0. So, 1 minus t means 1. So, 1 into 5 is 5. So, you, you see that I have uh, made some arrangement which will the, it will always give the output first uh, values as 5 and I have entered this and you can see that how gradually it has reduced 5, 4.5, 4, 3.5, 3, 2.5, 2, 2 like that, it has reduced to 0. This last values is 0. If I go to this number term, it will be 0. Okay. So, these are the values for n 1 1. Okay. Now, n 2 2, what I want to do that? It should start from 0 and then it should reach to 10 what I will do for uh, for that is equal to this 10 into 0 or t. So, this will slow gradually increase from 0 to 10. Now, you see this first line second line I have achieved and I want that say uh, final line n, n is the addition of these two n 1 1 plus n 2 2. So, you see this uh, if you if you plot this for plotting what we can do you select uh, all these things for plotting you can write down this sequence up to this ok everybody this last formula n 2 2 is uh, d 4 into b 4 b 4 is means t and B 4 means all 10s. So, 10 into t means this is 0 into 10 means it is 0 and like that. Everybody comfortable? This is very simple tool, but uh, very effective tool. And when we will be dealing with calculus, no, always we talk about interval. Interval means it will have a starting point and a end point, and you you want to see this whether it, in this interval it is this function is increasing, decreasing, what will be its shape, everything we are interested. So to do that, till date we are using manual thoughts, but now we can produce. I we will. Uh, change the x from this values to this value and we will get y corresponding to that. 
up to this okay ritu oh, which one you tell me which one i i you see n1 is the our first value n2 is the second value and then this is was the thing n1 into 1 minus uh, t 1 minus t b4 is t t is a parameter i told you this is the t parameter i have kept so initially it should be 0 and 1 and this is not used only here this will be the uh, vector calculus vector uh, uh, notation this is required again the to express a equation of a line in vector so environment is t into 1 1 1 uh, uh, minus t only 1 minus ha t is uh, t takes value 0 to 1 so at at initial stage t is 0 so n1 n1 into 1 and that's why it gives 5 now you can see this if you to do it in minus 5 how easily you can try if you uh, see this minus 5 you see this minus 5 to 10 it has reached and minus 5 to you if you want to go to minus 10 that also it will be you can see this uh, minus 5 to minus 10 so initial value final value is uh, automatically being generated i'll give this formulas again again uh, these are the formulas n to 2 n 1 1 and this is the n vector algebra you don't have first in first year vector algebra vector calculus i think it is in second semester second semester is so they are also you will require this uh, formula it will be taught but it will not be taught in this way so now i am going for okay now finished okay then i will plot it and we'll see because our geometrical interpretation is the main interest we should able to see it whether what has happened and for that insert scattered insert scattered abhishek this is a new for thing so uh, 